So we made it here to the port of Suva in Fiji and literally right when you get off um, the dock you agree it with this nice long market. So we're gonna wander in there for a little bit. We've seen a million markets but I heard there wasn't that much to do right in this local area. You can take a taxi, you can see some waterfalls, some beaches and stuff like that if you'd like to. But it's supposed to be storming shortly. It did earlier, it stopped. Um, but it's supposed to start raining again so I don't think we'll go too far um, if it's going to be storming. So, yeah, we're going to do this market and then just walk around town and see what there is. Catch you inside. We got um, some pineapple. It has like to cut it in half and peel it and everything. And it's delicious right here from the market. And it's like a dollar, so. Market's pretty huge. Everything smells fantastic, like always. We haven't eaten breakfast or anything today, so pretty much we're gonna eat little things here in the market. And then, like I said, continue wandering around the city. Uh, big shocker, starting to rain, of course. And basically all these are just a bunch of stores, so I don't know how much we're gonna do here, like I said, unless you get the taxi and go out of town and do the waterfalls and I guess the beaches. And when you're in Fiji, they say, at least here where Suva is and where we were yesterday, um, you're not gonna see those white sanded beaches. You have to take a boat out to one of the little other um, neighboring islands to get those pretty white beaches and snorkeling. Here, you're just gonna have the water. Um, lots of shops and stuff, but otherwise, not much to do here in Suva. It's just, just a city, it's a big city. Um, and of course, eat. Besides there, not much to do. Um, so we're probably just gonna wander around for just a little bit longer, and then probably just head back to the ship. It's kinda cool to see these, their public transportation is a cool yellow bus right there, where they have no windows, just little green plastic that comes down to uh, protect them from the rain, which they haven't put down yet. Ready to try some fish, add some coconut, milk on it or coconut cream looks delicious i'm just going to try it because i'm not a fish person christy got it i'm still looking around this nice little food market to see what type of food i'm gonna get probably beef and rice i thing. but this does look delicious um let's, let's dig in apparently i found my food it's that massive mound of food we got we got beef we got noodles there's rice under there we got egg we got some kind of sausage. A massive amount of food for only 11.50. Cause I got this big uh, Fanta drink for 11.50 Fijian dollars, which is half of that is pretty much what you're gonna get for a US. So um, what about five something um, for this food, which I could never find that anywhere else for such a big amount of food. For just not that much money and it looks delicious we're gonna bite into it so i'm gonna let you go and i'll catch you after the meal all we made to this wonderful mall right near where we're eating right near the port technically we're gonna try to see if we can waste some of uh the leftover fijian money so we don't have to worry about how uh transfer the money back to american so we're just yeah we're just gonna look around the shops see what we can buy finish up this money and right here at the waterfront, they have a cool little restaurant right there on the boat. It's like a steak and fish uh, restaurant. And yes, it's raining. It's, it's not pouring anymore like it was a little bit ago while we were eating, but still a little drizzle. So just kind of wandering around. I, I really don't want to go back to the ship just yet. So we're literally just making circles around town, trying to see things and whatnot. Make the best of what you can near the ship and near the um, farmer's market. They have this cool little cage set up where there's multiple different stalls where you can buy different woodworking, jewelry, and things like that. And even some of those cannibalistic tools that they would use back in the day. They have some wood carvings of those, different knives and stuff like that. So very cool and interesting. So of course upstairs on the market there is a uh, second floor. And up here you have more of the 
I guess they call it uh, kava, like a root or something. I see some behind me right there. I believe that's what they used, uh, one of their main greens for their drink that I have not tried, probably will not try. But if you're adventurous, kava looks like that before they make it into that uh, drink. I'm trying to finish up that little bit of um, dollars left. Tried some of these juices that were back here. Different flavors, mango, strawberry, all kinds of different things. And like 50 cents, 50 uh, Fijian cents, whatnot. Super delicious. Um, they, had, they put them in little glasses or you get a bigger container, like just like a little plastic Coke bottle. They recycle the bottles, I'm assuming they clean it. And then they pour it there um, into those recyclable um, bottles. Um, and give it to you for like a dollar or something, or two fifty. Again, that's Fijian money. But delicious. Um, so if you get a chance, go to the market, try one of those little drinks. We made it back on board the Amsterdam here in Suva, Fiji. So basically, all we did is we went from one side of the island yesterday, and then today we just went to the other side basically so all night we just kind of went slowly on the, above the island and went around so that was kind of cool just a relaxing uh, a view we were able to see lots of little um, island but it's one thing I noticed while I was um, looking around for food is they have the United States Coast Guard right behind me I'm in here in Suva Fiji and United States Coast Guards right there I just thought that was kind of interesting um, didn't know they came all the way over here. So far had a fantastic time here in Fiji for the boat two days. Um, like There wasn't a ton to do today as there was yesterday. So basically we just hung around the markets and uh, tried some food. We even got some bananas. Even though we have stuff on the ships and these fruits and vegetables, we just wanted to help the community and uh, it helps their economy if we kind of spend money. Um, thankfully there's no thundering or Calm down, but basically it's just one big city. So we're in like that. Yesterday was a little more tropical. This area is more just big city. It's supposed to be the biggest city here in Fiji. Uh, you see, you see the cool bus station back there. Tons of transportation. And I don't, I don't even see any of the buses with actual glass windows. They just have that little tarp over uh, on the side of the bus for when it rains. I thought that was kind of interesting. And you can see in the background the big brown, the whole area right there is the home market. And uh, if you go a little further down, back that way, uh, you'll see those little um, stalls where you get the woodworking and all those types of things. So thank you again everyone for joining me again on this trip. We're going to leave Fiji behind in about two hours and we're going to head over to New Samoa and we're gonna be in two different locations there and see what that has to offer. And after that, we'll be in Hawaii. Because I'm super excited to go there because I used to work over in Hilo on the Big Island. So now we're gonna be going to Maui and we're gonna be going to Oahu, Honolulu. So super excited to see those two locations. So anyway, I will let you all go and you all have a great day. I'm gonna go back downstairs and get some food. See you later.